all of us we will do that way. at the next meeting Derek's going to take a look at what we need to do and what did you give it to me because you all get one I just put it in there got all the last night for heaven's sake she got to sign that one so I I altered the one that you gave me and I last night altered. they actually signed it but so we're doing this even though we're going to update it oh. I could have did on this side. Yeah, because that added the updates we just did with the fire or the oh, okay. and the okay. couple things. So no. Yeah, you'll have to do that again whenever you finish the next time. Yeah, I'll make sure of that make sure we have it ready for January 1st. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So this got some. Yeah, it did. I, I, this is not the signed copy, but it, it did get burned. I feel like I'm going back to school. Yeah, finders, oh, folks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Why is that a snark remark from Erica? Yeah. Go <laughs> 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 <You're> back. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Freddy? Why, Eric? Yeah, never heard of such a one. Go back to school. <laughs> 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 Meeting to order, roll call. Erica Parton. Sean Harley. George Nall. Angela Resendez. Derek Jones. Lisa Mullaney. Show Randy Jones. Randy Jones. Randy Jones. Randy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Off tonight. Randy Jones. 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 Minutes of 721-21 regular session. Motion to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve the minutes. Is there any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Four minutes. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. They're probably in here, right? Yes. Where are you taking all this stuff up at? That was not in that folder. <laughs> no, it was sitting there. Citizens input. See, that's how there's no one here. <laughs> all? I got that uh, okay. Anybody up here got anything for citizens input? I think, I don't know if anybody's been out to uh, Folker Park. It is really looking good. I mean, it's it's really sharp out there. I've seen pictures on the internet and today. It just looks really good. Sorry. What's that? I've seen pictures on the internet today of the new fishing piers and stuff. It looked yeah. uh, very yeah. impressive. Yeah. I, I was happy with that. It looked good. That was an epic. I did not see it. Happy? She was thinking happy. This might not be it how I should say this or whatever, but I'm going to say it on citizens input. Um, Argus is growing quickly here in the last few years. People don't like change. Change is little by little. And it seems like the only people that are really complaining about it are the people that never use anything or just want to complain. Um, with that, the downtown's moving forward, as we know, the downtown square. Um, another restaurant's coming into town, which is good. Um, growth on all of our industry, actually, in town. The subdivisions. What new housing's built, everyone is sold. Every time there's one sold, a build is sold. So a lot of good things going on, and, and I can't say enough and thank everybody that participate in everything. Uh, Mark's done a lot of work. Lisa's done an astronomical uh, amount of work and Chuck over and above what they even have to for all this to happen. The council members, um, I understand and our lawyer, yes, our lawyer's <laughs> been doing a lot for us. And people just don't understand how much time it really takes. Um, out of their personal life,
to do all this. So be grateful for what we have here in town. Um, again, love your neighbor. Thank everyone for doing what you're doing. And uh, everybody out there that's watching, please come to Argus and support us. You know, come up and eat. Uh, come to a ball game just to watch our kids. We don't care, but we, we don't want you to come. So with that, everybody, I want to thank you. Make my life easier <laughs> as council president. Bid? Mark, what's that? Is that a re-election bid? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here tonight. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I would also say to just, you know, for the people in our community to just encourage each other to hang on mm -hmm. and to just know that there's always growing pains and that um, the end result is going to be really amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, just encourage everyone to hang in there and um, be part of the process if, you know, you have any questions or, you know, are curious. Yeah, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Sure. Right. Yeah. Very well said by all. Okay. okay. Old business, attorney report. That might be the longest thing on the agenda. Good. I'll try to go quick, but I want to give you guys some updates and let you know where some things stand. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you about is the Speedway property and the acquisition of that. It's really a redevelopment issue um, that's moving forward. I've been in touch with McKesson Title. I've been in touch with Speedway. Um, we do not have an exact closing date set yet, but Paul is going to get to be the guy that signs documents on behalf of the Redevelopment Commission. Um, and, and again, this thing is moving forward and we're on the go to get that acquired and get that knocked out. Um, another thing I wanted to kind of bring your attention to is that we've got a rezoning issue for Colonial Court. And just to give you a, a heads up, we're going to need to have a public hearing. If it's not the next meeting, it's going to be the meeting after concerning a rezoning issue. Uh, and again, this is really just nothing more than a heads up, um, but the public hearing needs to be here with the council. The Planning Commission passed a resolution that gave a favorable recommendation to that rezoning. So it's going to be now in front of us. We've got to get that knocked out within 60 days. So we're okay on the time frame, but I'm just letting you know that we're going to have that public hearing. And typically, I would not expect a lot of opposition, problems or issues, but letting you know. The other issue we have is the situation on 210 North Maple Street, Mr. Caudill, and that was a, basically it's a house that was in very, very bad shape, and I know that Mr. Caudill has made some substantial steps in getting that thing taken care of, remodeled, uh, fixed up, trash and junk removed. Um, we had given him a timeline of Ju July 1, get that taken care of. It's my understanding that he's got, again, a fair amount of work done, but he's now having a contractor come in, and I think, talking with Lisa, who talked with his wife, they're looking at maybe an extension again of, of November 1 to get things taken care of. It's gonna be my recommendation that so long as there's progress continuing to be made there, that we give them that timeline and give them that extension and, and let that move forward uh, it's a lot more efficient. It's we're we're being very. Oh, how do I say this? Lenient. Well, <laughs> that, but we're not being litigious in terms right. of like we're going to take you to court because you didn't comply with this, that, or the other. Uh, so long as somebody's taking steps and, and making action, then it's my recommendation to give them an extension of time. And again, I hear November one. Um, when she came in, the wife came in today and she said that she was very sorry. They have been very busy over the summer and they have been trying to get it done. They have a contractor friend that is um, helping them out, but he has been swamped in his own business. And they just found out that the roof needs totally replaced. It, it cannot be saved. So it all has to be stripped off, redone. Um, they are waiting on him, and like I said, he's very, very busy, but they do have all the siding bought, all the roofing materials are sitting there just waiting. Um, I did tell her that, you know, the weeds and the tires were an, an, a problem right now. She promised me that they would get that taken care of, but she did say that, I said, <coughs> so what do you mean, like November 1st? I threw the date out there. She said November 1st would be great. That gives us some time to 
you know, maybe get him in there to help them out. But it be it is a bigger project than they were thinking it would be. And so they're just at she's just asking for some more time. Would this be the first extension we've given them on the July first date? No, it would not. Well, I mean it's the first extension from the July date, if you would recall. And again, I said Jeremy Nathan is the name of the gentleman that owns the property. My, my apologies. Um, initially, there was a date of April 1. He asked for an extension. We gave that to July 1. And so this would be a second extension. He signed an agreed modification of what's called a continuous enforcement order. Uh, again, cooperating with the town. To, basically allow us to, if we have to bring this into court, I think we're on pretty solid footing to say, in essence, Judge, we've given them every chance that we could, um, but this is the second extension that he has requested. With that, he has made progress. It's not like he just asked for an extension and hasn't done anything. No, and they've been keeping the yard up. They brought in four what are those great big dumpsters? Like the roll off, roll -off ones? They've filled four of them just getting the junk out of the house. Okay. So it's not like they've not made progress. I'll make, a, I'll make a motion then to allow the Caudels one final extension to November 1st to be in full compliance. I'll second it. There's a motion and a second to extend till November 1st to be completely in compliance. Any other discussion? Not all in favor saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. So I will do another agreed modification of that order, have him sign that so he's committed to that. And again, that preserves our ability to take things to court if there's not been progress. Who signs that, please make sure he understands that our intent is this to be the final extension. Yeah. I understand. I we cross the bridge when we get to I understand. I will point out that that was the final extension that the town's willing to give. Um, guys, the next thing I want to bring your attention to. is concerning the building permit that's been filed by all property developments. We had an executive session meeting about that two weeks ago. Um, I need to request that we would schedule another executive meeting. Uh, at our regular meeting, we basically made a determination that our moratorium we felt that was valid and enforceable. Um, I conveyed that to Mr. Owen's attorney um, we've had a response to that and basically along the lines of trying to work out a solution to the situation, um, we do need to have another executive uh, meeting for that. And I would propose that we do that at our next meeting. I don't care if it's at 7. Um, we have a public hearing only. Yeah. We have a public workshop from 6.30 to 7. So if you wanted to have it at 7. We also have a cemetery meeting, but I, I mean... We haven't had one in a while. So. Were we going to discuss anything at that meeting? I know there was some discussion about trying to discuss the changes to the redevelopment of land use plan. Redevelopment. Uh, no, the, to the land use plan. Yes. Oh. That's, we have to have a public hearing. Yeah. That's what the public hearing right. is Right. Yeah. It's a public hearing, and that's something that's also on the regular mm -hmm. agenda for the and that open meeting. I'm saying that's coming up for that meeting as well. It is. Yeah. It is. And that'll be at, be at 7.30, though. So you could have the, the exact public, session You mean the public seven. hearing? Don't that have to be separate? No. It can be during, right? It's at what, I can't remember what time we set that public hearing for. That's already been sent in. Just give me two seconds. It's on It's on our website. I'll tell you exact time for that.
Sean, I'll be honest with you, I did not bring that file with me about the new land use development code. This is what did, in the situation posted? with Mr. Collins. Is that wrong? Did it post it? It is. But, yeah, so here on the town of Argus, this is the... I, just, I thought it was posted on the building out here. Me, but I, isn't that just the planning commission? On Monday. Right. And then Wednesday is the public hearing. That's already posted. I thought you You're right. I'm it. sorry. That's a... That's a... You're right. That's a public hearing in front of the planning commission, not the town council. That proceeds immediately to the town council and will be set up to hear that next... Okay. Not next Wednesday, but... Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not Monday, I don't believe. It's so mon Monday the 16th. 16th in front of the plan commission. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Yes. yes, 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 yes. And then the 18th is our regularly right. scheduled mm -hmm. meeting. So but I'm sorry. Do we need a public hearing for that? No, we mm -hmm. do not we need a public hearing in front of the town council okay. for the consideration of the amendments to the zoning ordinance. That's what I was, I was confused. I thought we had to have a public hearing as well on, in front of the town council, too. So that's, not that's for why that, I asked that. So. Not for that amendment to the zoning ordinance. I like a, a, at least a 15 minute cemetery meeting then. Okay. Um, can we do this one at 7 and maybe the, the cemetery meeting will move it to 7.15? I mean, we can always start the meeting late. It's posted to start at well, 7. Well, we have the public at workshop. Right. So why don't we just start at 6.30 with Derek's stuff, if Derek, because that's already okay. him. Start at 6.30 with mm -hmm. him, and we'll just, when we finish up with that, we can roll right into right. anything else. Pretty much make it. Okay. <laughs> Fair's over. <laughs> Fair is over. Yep. In case stuff never ends, but okay. Fair's over. Yeah. So six thirty on next one or two weeks. Eighteen. Okay. Yep. The last thing I have, guys, is concerning the Spiegel property at three eleven Southwest Street. If you remember, this is a it is a mobile home that's in terrible shape. We are in court. We have basically an order that says we can let this thing out for bid. Randy was going to speak with him concerning basically, would there be another way through this? Um, an email that I received from Lisa indicates that, I'm just going to read it, Randy spoke with uh, David Spiegel. He's willing to sign the property over to the town or redevelopment as long as he does not have to pay anything. So <clears throat> here's the things to think about, guys. We do have basically a proceeding in court and it allows for us to make repairs to a roof and replace skirting. It does not give us any authority to uh, demolish the mobile home, have it removed, and that's what, again, I know that we've discussed this in the past. So if we proceed in court, if we say, no, thank you, Mr. Spiegel, we would just want to proceed in court, that's what we're going to have, that's what we're going to wind up with. We're going to wind up with a trailer that has a fixed roof and skirting. Now, the cost of that, which I have no idea what that's going to be, but the cost of that would be entered as a judgment against him. In addition to the time that I have into this, and court costs are like 100 and I think 72 bucks, something like that. Um, so there would be a judgment against him for, my guesstimate is a few thousand dollars. His suggestion or his proposal is to basically say as i understand it he would deed the property over to either the town or the redevelopment commission but that he is not interested in paying anything in terms of attorney fees court costs uh, fines cost of repairs you name it now the pros and cons to that would be we're not going to see any money out of it but i don't know that we would anyway the pro to this would be that we would own that and then be able to do with that trailer whatever we want to do with that trailer, i.e. demolish it, get it removed. Um, but we're not going to be able to go after Mr. Spiegel to recoup the cost of any of that. At the end of the day, the town would end up owning that property and that could dispose of that. I don't know the value of the property. I have no idea. Um, but that's basically the offer that's on the table. If the town wants to move forward with this, this would be something that I would say would be an agreed order 
that we would have Mr. Spiegel sign. It would be filed with the court to indicate to the court this is how this whole situation gets resolved. Obviously, something I would prepare. But we need the council to say, yes, we want to do this, or no, we don't. Another option is there's some type of counter proposal from the town. Um, but we're at the point to respond to this offer. Does he current on his taxes? <clears throat> yes, I believe. Give me a second, Eric, and I may be able to give you that answer. The Beacon GIS does a pretty good job of indicating where things stand. It looks like he's current. Well, I have in my mind, everyone. Um, I've been down there a couple times and looked at that and rattled some things around in my head. And I think it'd be far more benefit to the town to take Mr. Spiegel up on his offer, in my opinion. Um, we and we can dispose of that trailer, and you'd have that piece of property. Um, we know the houses are selling, and I say we hand it over to a redevelopment uh, commission and they can do with the, as they see fit on the property as far as building a house or whatever. Um, to me that makes more sense than putting a slapping a roof and some skirting on an old trailer that's I mean we're gonna have some cost in removing the trailer or anything else, but at this rate we're gonna still be fighting. I mean, like I said, all we have is an order right now to replace a roofing and we know that's a lot worse off than it appears. That's so I'm gonna make a motion to take Mr. Spiegel up on his offer to sign the property over as long as the town attorney gets all the legal documents signed uh, to protect the town and then um, sign the deed over to the Argus Redevelopment Commission. Good. And this will be where he. Is there, is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, Mark, get in on discussion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just figuring out how yeah. we're talking about how getting the houses and that. We actually have a little bit. Can we get the ACDC involved with this? Because then they could tear the house down and then they would have another buildable lot. You're kind of looking to where we would exclude the town that we would have to get with Mr. Spiegel and have him involved since we're, we're into court. <clears throat> First step. I would say. Or, because my only question, this is where you can say yes, no, because we've done it, or is it just as easy to go this route and transfer the property at a later date? That's what I was thinking. That's what okay. I'm thinking. Yeah, well, <laughs> really? Is that really getting into the research of the whole situation? I know mm -hmm. that it's a lot easier for a redevelopment commission to acquire and transfer property as opposed to the town. So I think it's, I think it's wise that if anybody's going to acquire a redevelopment, would. But to me, that's that's the threshold question, and I get it. I mean, redevelopment is an arm or department of the town. Mm -hmm. So, um, if, if that's something that is the council would like well, to do, well, the ACDC is an arm of the town in a way, and I'm just saying that was if they could use the funds they have to do that, that would be a. I would say we cross that bridge after it's acquired by redevelopment. What we can do with it from redevelopment. Oh no, they've only done a couple of lots and they're doing nothing. So oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They have two lots in town now, they haven't done nothing. They haven't oh, done anything with it. In fact they sold one. Really? They what? sold a house. Habitat sold a house to a homeowner. Yeah. On Maple Street. What? Are you kidding me? They sold that empty lot? No, house. There was no house on it. It burned. No, they said, the guy that bought the property said he bought it from Habitat. To build a house? No, a house that they had down they, there on Maple Street. They do buy some houses already built. And this is, this is going to be torn down. The empty lot what is it, 111 South Maple? Mm -hmm. The one that burnt? Mm -hmm. That is a lot that he gave to them. Right. And they've done nothing. And the one on Grove Street. Right. But the one in Grove, I believe, we put in with the housing. 
Didn't we? We gave them those two lots and they did, yes, around. they were including because yes. they surveyed it and they and still, they have still haven't got anything on that. On that. Okay. Well building prices are turning down. I, I'm impressed with the way that the redevelopment commission is working with ACD and I mean I think that, that uh, is a that's been a positive uh, note for the town for quite a while now and it seems like as fast as they can build them they got them sold so I uh, I think that's our best avenue right now and then I'll stick with my original motion there's a motion and a second to have Derek do the paperwork and the agreement with Mr. Spiegel and to deed that property over to redevelopment. Is there any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. One well, last question, then I'll be done and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> when does redevelopment next meet? Next, uh, next week from tomorrow or yesterday. I think it'd be a good idea for redevelopment to at least in your some point in your minutes in your meeting to accept the acquisition of that property. Okay. So again, we don't have any issues about this is the town council saying transfer to redevelopment and I get it. I don't think there'll be any issues, but put it in your minutes, discuss this and make sure that the redevelopment would agree to this acquisition. Okay. okay. Mm, that's all I have. Motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept the attorney report. Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the attorney report. Are there any other questions or discussion? Not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, any other old business? Mm -hmm. You didn't give me time when you asked me if I had anything. I'll be quick. Yes, I, I did. I gave you days. No, you didn't. <laughs> I got three things and they're all updates. This one will be coming first. Uh, as you know, the bids came in for the downtown square. Shannon is working on getting that submitted. They were a little higher than we first thought. Uh, so what you'll see on her sheet here, this is what Shannon prepared. We're going to be off by about 131,000, $618. And how I'm, that wasn't even in this. So how I'm telling you we're off, if you remember those bids, when I sent those out, there were the base bid and then there were five things. Some were addition, some were deductions. And I'm not telling you that we won't do an addition or we won't do a deduction. So we took that base bid on this is how we uh, pushed forward. So this may be high, and we're hoping. Uh, this doesn't count any value engineering yet that may be done. Uh, I'm learning a lot. Value engineering, so they'll sit down. If there's something that the engineer or the contractor thinks they can save us money on, we'll try to, to look at those type of things. Uh, so, but right now we're going to use that figure that we're off $131,618. Out of that, 55000 is for the land. So the main thing I wanted to show you tonight in Pond Park, that's what this one is, you'll see that we are going to approximately have $82,925 left over. That will transfer down there. We have to spend that on the Stellar project. So that will transfer. The park's already, they've done everything Stellar-wise that they're looking to do. So that, barring some catastrophe, that will all go down there. In talking with Shannon, um, the $68,618 that um, is architectural, those are Troyer fees. So I talked with her and she said, you've already paid them like over $60,000 in architectural fees. So basically we will, out of council, we will pay the, out of the uh, general fund, we'll pay the Troyer and if we paid the land, that would get us really close to that 131. Not, not it'd be no, and that a little still, shy. So it doesn't matter if that 80, when I say that 82 will get moved, just because it's sitting in this fund doesn't mean it'll exactly go down there. She's already paid 68 of that. 
it could come off that 82. So we've already paid 3,000 of the land. So that'll only be 52. So just letting you know that these two now are going to be paid by the town instead of through the grant. Yeah, just so if you saw that at a later yeah. day, you thought we were going to not pay anything. This is where, and just like on here, the environmental and the, she's got permits and advertising. Well, I can tell you right now, the permits and advertising are going to be zero. Uh, we put that in there because of getting these cutouts on Michigan Road, being an in-dot thing. They did not charge us for the permits because we're in the municipality. So I can already tell you that'll be zeroed out, but they still have to be listed in here just to make Oprah happy. So there are going to be some changes from this, but I did want to let everything know we were not even where we thought we were going to be. There is a difference. So if, the time, if I'm looking at this correct, and correct me if I'm wrong, but by the time we move that eighty-two thousand nine hundred twenty-five dollars up there mm -hmm. towards this one hundred thirty-one six eighteen, it leaves us an overage of four. Forty-eight thousand six ninety-three, almost forty-nine thousand. And if you took the eight off, it's forty-one. And like exactly. I said, so when I said we made the duck, one of the things on there, uh, it was like fifteen thousand dollars if we put a shingle roof versus the what you standing scene, the standing scene metal roof. Metal must be really high right now. I didn't think it'd be that much difference, but right there. So if we thought we were tight and needed to save. We could throw a shingle roof on right there. Would take fifteen thousand. I'm not saying that will be decisions we'll have to make at a later date. Well, at this but. at this point, there's there's a lot of unknown, a lot of things that could happen in this. And for what we know on paper, you know, we're looking at forty eight thousand six ninety three. Quite frankly, that's better than what I figured. To be honest with you. Yeah, and I think they've um, been better than they could have. So I'm not complaining. And I mean, I. It, it is what it is. Nobody likes to pay architectural fees or anything like that, but they are what they are. So, um, and most of them have been paid already this year. You yes. uh, you've already paid them. So that's what I mean. So, Sixty-eight thousand's already been paid out of there. So basically, right. so that's not even in that one thirty-one. So that, you know we're down less than twenty thousand of an overage. Basically, when you look at that, well, it's and just like bound. I said, we have a, and Mike was pretty confident just in doing some value engineering. He thinks that there'll be. I'm not saying there'll be massive savings, but it could be that figure. Even if it's half of that, we're closer. So I'm, I'm sure there'll be some savings somewhere. Well, I'm going to go on record as saying this. Getting in that. We need to be cognizant of the numbers, and I appreciate this. But that's going to be in the center of our town. That's going to be what everybody sees. Oh, yeah. We I don't, don't want, we don't want it at this stuff. point to start freaking stripping stuff yep. to save a nickel and trip over $2. So, I mean, that's going to be the centerpiece of our town for a long time to come. And... You know, if we can keep, if, if there's any overages, if we can keep it to a minimum, great. But I don't want, at this point in time, I don't want to start skimping and cutting stuff and this, that, and the other. Well, like Mark and I talked to the, and there again, that's just me talking, you, you got a, a replica depot of a certain time era, they didn't have shingle roofs. Mm -hmm. It was exactly metal right. They were a metal roof. And your metal roof's going to get you twice as long. I don't care if, you, if that contractor comes up there and says you got 40 year shingles. A shingle even lasts four years. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. Only there's metal, but you know how that goes. But if you're going to if you're going to stay with the, the right. nostalgia of what you want to do, I think we're still in real good shape. I agree, with George, on that. Yeah. I was very concerned about the numbers coming in so high, but after talking with Mark and with Shannon and realizing that we've paid a lot of this mm -hmm. up front, you know. And yes, are we we're paying still it out? Okay. Okay. Yeah. The reason it's still on paper is because the project really hasn't went through the whole process of the right. of acquiring the grant and everything else. It's just all the fees that we paid to get to that process are in mm -hmm. them dollars or in them black and white, and it's not really. Yeah, that's kind of where we are. Once she gets the approval for the project, we'll actually have a bid. Well, the, the bid will be awarded. Obviously, we have the bids on who bid, but until that's done, that cannot be awarded. So at this moment in time, nobody has received, nobody has been awarded that bid. I'm still uh, very adamant about that park having some sort of, for the green space, some sort of irrigation yes, to take care of itself. Yes, that was in that bid. So, uh, the time frames probably changed a little bit. Originally, her time frames, remember when you got her, her pre-bid meeting, her pre-construction meeting was sometime in August. That probably won't happen because we're not going to acquire the property until the end of the month. 
and okra, I'm sure, is going to be a couple weeks before we get that back. So we're probably looking sometime in September. We're still hoping for construction. Now we'll just call it early fall, mid-fall, sometime in there. Great. That was one. Everybody good on downtown? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, uh, subdivision. We're working on the. What are you doing? I'm with you. I'm following you. Comment her. She was questioned. No. Um, we're working on the rezoning. The main thing with the subdivision, we're finally getting uh, supplies ordered. <laughs> but obviously, our time frame is going to be off more than we thought. So. Uh, the like the water main which is the metal pipe isn't as bad it's like four to six weeks but the sewer pipe were probably 12 to 16 what they were thinking so, well it is not as much the pipe they were getting it quicker uh, jamie's more worried about the manholes <laughs> so that was the thing i guess that was really backed up so we're working at it uh, we're still hoping october obviously the first thing that will probably happen will come back but we're going to obviously have to do some excavation so we'll get that started, probably get that road cut in. Uh, that water main will probably go in because we'll have that pipe and then go from there. But just as a heads up where that is, just so nobody wants to, we're just behind. The whole thing's been a few months behind. We're getting there. COVID. Still, it's COVID. still going. It doesn't matter what it is, Mark. I don't care what industry you're in. <laughs> it is hard to near impossible to get the normal supplies you can oh, only get over. Well, and the guy was here and in May, we were, Joey was on me, oh, he, he had the sales meeting, we need to order, and Jamie was timid, and I get it, because prices were, they've come down a little, but probably not as much as what he would like, but we're still going to save, obviously, by doing the work, so. But that's where that one is, and the third thing, uh, you got the thing about the fire territory, the only thing I want to add to that, there will still be that DLGF hearing on that equipment fund, at a date to be determined, <laughs> just so everybody's clear. Fire territory was good, passed, nothing will change that. It's a, a done deal January 1st, but that equipment fund will have a hearing, a DLGF hearing at a later date. Well, that's only something that already went through. So. No, they haven't had that hearing. And I mean, how that hearing will work, obviously Lisa will probably have to go, somebody from here will have to go, Baker and Tilly will have to go. Uh, they'll actually have to, to show up and virtually, they can have counsel, not have counsel, they'll have to present their case on why they think that and as we noticed from their application, I think they thought this would stop the territory, so they probably will kind of fumble. But just so everybody's clear, there is still a hearing, but it's just like the CCD fund. You could do the same thing with the CCD fund. You could file it with the, you know, the circuit court or the auditor's office, and it, it triggers the same type of hearing. But 99% of the time, those go right through because, I, especially in this case, if we'd had this for 10 years and never used it, I could see the complaint about doing away with it for this year because we had that money stockpiled, but we don't have that luxury. So. Baker Kelly doesn't feel like this hearing will gain any traction because you're fighting against an entity that doesn't exist yet. Um, but they did say you still have to take every one of them seriously. So, you know, you still go down there, you still plead your case. But worst case scenario, you don't have an equipment fund for a year, and then you reapply. Um, but the regular budget is still there for yeah. the fire territory. So we'll still have full-time EMTs, and that does not affect any of that. It just makes no sense why they would re I just, you know, whatever. <sighs> Stuff doesn't wear out, I guess. No, it's, if you read that, I think they thought they were against a different thing. Yeah. So. Uh, Mark, would it? You've been heavily involved in that from the get-go. Would it be possible, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, and if it's not, that's fine sure too. <laughs> would it be possible for you to attend that hearing as well? Yeah, depending on I'm sure well, she can't go. One of the, somebody from here should go. So you can go too. Her and I will probably go. <laughs> you, both, you both can go. I just, I know Mark was very heavily involved in the drawing up of it and the budget and everything My else of that. Like that's why I thought it might be good for you to make a personal appearance. Yep, that's fine. We can do on that. behalf of the territory. Are you sure? <laughs> that that's just that's what I was asking. So and I mean that's totally up to you, but I think it would be very good uh, to show that kind of a appearance there. So Okay, that's my three. I actually have four, but George is gonna talk about the next one in a minute. So we're good. I am. We are. Hopefully I didn't talk longer.
Alderman there. Thank you, Dick. Um, All right. <laughs> what that means. New business um, reappointment. Is that what you're talking about? It's actually a new appointment, but yes. Yeah. A, a new appointment. Um, Ed Barkus has resigned from the redevelopment. Redevelopment. Yeah, I just had to tip my tongue. And Erica has said she will take it as a council appointment. So, do I have a motion to appoint Erica? We make a motion to appoint Erica Parton to the Redevelopment Commission to replace Ed Barkus due to his resignation. There's a motion and a second to appoint Erica Parton on the redevelopment. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Erica. Was that your thing? That is. Oh, that's all right. All right. Um, one, one other thing. Um, I guess I want to thank the school on this one. I didn't get that in on citizens' input. They tore down the old dentist office today. It'll be hauled off tomorrow down there. So um, that corner's cleaned up. Uh, I'd like to thank them for that, obviously. Any other new business? I will. Keep my face. I wanted to let you guys know that we did, uh, we applied for that CLRF money or when, um, the ARC funds mm -hmm. and we did receive those this week. So that is in our bank account. Um, I guess we are going to have to have a meeting if we can have an exact session over funds that we receive. I, I'm going to have to look that up. but. Um, it would be probably be beneficial to have some sort of either a workshop or, or an exec session to discuss how we're going to proceed with those funds. I know that there's only four reasons that you can spend those funds and two of them are very hard. So there's kind of two reasons, there are two ways, so. Um, how much did we receive from that? It was like 185000 I don't have the exact figure in front of me, but it's like a hundred close, one hundred eighty-five thousand and change. Check me up on that tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Check it out. That was worth the time to file. Yeah. So if we can have a little bit of a meeting just to so everybody is clear on how we're going to spend it. Does it have to be an official meeting, or can we discuss that in a workshop? For a couple minutes or something. I mean, you can, meeting? but I didn't know if you wanted to discuss some of the options in an exec session. You know, I, I have to, I will get with Derek tomorrow and okay. find out if That's that can happen. Kind of but, you know, if, you know, just to have, if not, we'll do it in a public workshop. So you'll have to. Very good. That's nothing else. We're going to claims. So you have my claims. The total is $429,276.24. Is your motion to accept the claims? I make a motion to accept the claims. Um, from 7-2021 to 8 21 there's a second. I'll second <laughs> There's a motion and a second to accept the claims from July 5th to August 2nd. It's July 21st, sorry. I don't think so. I think they all look pretty. Mm -hmm. I looked at them once, I'm just browsing through them. I know. Yes. <laughs> I had to flip my paper. You'd think the clerk could figure that out, right? <laughs> you know what, if you can figure out a way for it to go through the scanner in that direction, sure. <laughs> My scanner works no matter how you put it in. I meant that jokingly, everybody. Really? <laughs> put it in upside down or backwards and it scans it right away. Well, maybe I didn't it get it as an way. expensive. <laughs> I can buy another scanner if you'd like. No. <laughs> I'm talking work, not me. There's a motion and a second to accept the claims. Any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Before we adjourn, I'd also like to thank Jim Masters, the pilot, for coming to our meetings and putting our articles out. Thank you.
<laughs> this is a thank you, man. I'm not yes. just a, I mean, I have had such a, 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 a he faithfully like, comes to a good yes. week, man. It's like so he prints that in the paper. You gonna run? Paul for Kevin. oh yeah, Paul. Yeah. Paul yeah. 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 My wife, my, my wife bought me a plaque and it says, attitude, pick a good one. And I look at it every morning. I know for some reason she's got it right there at the table where I have to see when I walk out the door. But, oh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion to adjourn.